so small. Uh, and I believe if you if you you know put a gun in my head, say who I think is going to take this first one, I got to go with Dom Juan. Uh, uh, I think really? they do. I mean, mm. look, you, you also you now you don't have Sonics, you don't have uh, Liquid in the lobby, so they get their normal drop pot of Pachinki and Picado back, so they can play this out however they want. If you look at the results from yesterday, probably the most due for a win out of anybody. I mean, ninth, second, fifth, fourth, second out of all five games. Trading back and forth here with Roth. Roth, oh, why'd you stop, buddy? Why'd you stop? Nice. Nice. That's, a, oh. that's about as free as it's going to get right there. I don't know if they got one of his tires or... Doesn't even look like I they got a tire. It looks like... Well, mm. Either way. Who knows? Poor choices regardless. <laughs> it's not the way you yeah. want things to go down. And speaking of... Wait, Furia are pulling up on this. Okay, this is a big investment now. Tiambo were already here. We saw them kind of looting earlier on. Bit of a spray through. Ooh. Great connection. Necro and Raspu just going to be left as... I don't know, just trash on the side of the road. I, that was baffling. They got it so quickly. But now already Tiambo going to go for the push. Great need to go through the window. That's so push. comfy for them. Didn't even get knocked. Ming's about the lowest one out of there. That's of time to loot, you know, and get that ideal combo. Or simply feeling it's oh viable, especially in this urban area. No problem. Okay, Bururam gets one back. They did have a player knocked. And oh, that's sick work from Bururam. I want to look at these guys. Gen G just got ripped apart. Now you're going to have to get the other two from Bururam back in towards this fight because they already had one knocked earlier on. Now, I'm looking at 4am's positioning too. You can have a watch back at this. Look at the... <laughs> Please. How does how does his gun do that towards the east where DA currently are? That's probably a little too risky. If they want okay. yeah, if they go around by God V, pretty decent approach. They can get the back, you know. G looking like they're going right towards Virtus Pro. I would not be pulling up like this, Gen G. You are braver than I am. But Tulin's would have seen this, called this out. The IGL on the hill from outside, but they need to get these kills quickly. You don't want threats like this. All of them going inside the loo up on the roof. Just gets the angle down towards Loki, and now they have to find the others. They've given them this one house, and they're gonna try and take it back. Molotov's in, CPO in trouble oh. upstairs. Inonix trying to help him out. They're trying to hold them at bay, but it ain't gonna work in pack caps. Doing some damage in the back lines, but for now his heroes and still trying to just litter the floor. Oh, but a oh, no. Pio, he could have got the shot through there, but how is heroes in alive? P.O. just ran out of bullets at the at the wrong time. But this was the push from Oath. Uh, it looks like they've suffered uh, at least one knock here, but they managed to collect that compound or at least one of the compounds from TSG. Pat rocking the DBS. God, I love to see it. I love that freaking gun, especially. Well, there goes Gen G. All right, Haru's going to take care of both of them with a nice grenade. Actually, Oath keeping all four alive. This is insane. I cannot believe that they made this crash towards the center of the circle and they Ooh. actually destroy TSG. A lot of attention here. LG Divine, I mean, it's a rock and a hard place, really. They got, nobody is. That is actually insane. Uh, I guess I, everybody assuming that it was already taken. It looks like K7 might be on the move to try to take it now. But yeah, LG Divine kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here between Kia on the mountain and then they've got T1. That's uh, just off to their east, or west rather. So uh, let's see, I mean, which which fight do you really want to take? I mean, T1 is kind of snug as a bug in a rug in a compound here, but Kia, as you said, has that high ground that they can still work with. Meanwhile, going back to this fight, Orium still trying to figure out what to do about the digital athletics problem. Looks like Smash and Murder already gone. Oh, that's a good Nasty work from Metralius. The player in the building was already looking upstairs forever now. Split between two targets. It's tricky. He's actually backed away from this. Going around by the window, double dips back in, sprays through the door. Get you on the stairs, but it's a quick trade out. Code Marco found forever as crazy did get Metralius. And now two stand for 4am. This is just, again, mutually assured destruction. If Code Marco can make this hurt, this is all for nothing. If 4am get forever and God be back up, okay, no harm, no foul, but... They're playing a very dangerous game. Code Marco could do the work here, but now what does Lou do? Back on the feet, ready to go. Got the res, got God V back up. And he's going to try and keep him humble. Metralius can't be resed right now. If they go for it, it'd be such a risky maneuver, but you can see that's what they want to do. And already Code Marco desperate for this res towards Metralius. Uh oh. That's really good play by Shalu. Oh, this is what we were waiting on. The grenades to come right on top of the rocks. Going to find Long. Song Zhang just going to keep sending them in there. Ike's left. 
Just gonna try to hide behind the U.S. for the time being. Meanwhile, DA does get eliminated as 4 a.m. continues to push through. That should mean them getting their reses back up. And now we're gonna do the seed swap here. In to go. Well, that's good. Be a good grenade. Okay. Didn't luckily didn't get a kill at the end there for uh, down. That's a lot of playable room. If it centers up. That ring around hospital, oh, mm -hmm. this ring around hospital, right? This is a lot of hills, a lot of territory. You've got that kind of mini hospital sort of area just, just in the north of it. But you think where currently Virtus Pro are, you can't have three teams playing that area. It's maybe yeah. feasible for one. The south, okay, they can shuffle into that final building. Oath are okay. It's going to be that western side that's going to be so hard to play around. He still has a good spot, but it looks like Zenith. Realizing that they've got to push out now. They're down to just two. Get Batulin's low. And they may actually catch VP a little bit split off here. As you can see, Spiro just uh, on the other side of the mountain. Does have Haruzin and Lou giving some overwatch. And oh, Wookie. Wookie's got a perfect angle on this. It is through the smoke, yeah. unfortunately. But yeah, that was... That was always going to be difficult for Zenith to do, but now the bigger problem for VP is what do you do about Oath? As you would love to just hang out and, and play mm -hmm. on that hillside right there by a hospital, but Oath is a big, big problem. I don't know how much time they've had to potentially scale. I guess you've got this kind of uh, slight valley almost with the road there, but you're right. Oath still have perfect vision on that. Um, you do have the hill kind of to their north they could play on, but that would open up to maybe TSM, uh, 4 a.m. or K7. It could be ascend to that kind of smaller compound just north of the hospital, potentially. I uh, don't know how much they've been able to scout it, though, considering they've been in this valley, so it's very hard to see that far. This could be the uh, playing, I guess, percentage, safety percentage numbers for Virtus Pro. They're going to have to make a risky move here now. I don't think they have an easy choice to be made yet already. They've had to try and do something, and Oath has perfect vision. Now, yes, there are three smokes in play. They've committed them. But Batulins is looking worse for it. Yeah, he's done. He's flushed. Bales found that pretty comfortably. Oh, these shots, though. Oh, TSM, this is... Oh, this is harsh to watch. But it looks like TSM... Oh, no, Wookie Bookie. No, he tries to get towards the wall, and he's fallen. Now, Iro, the shotgun supreme, trying to play this one out. But they have taken that mini compound, but it ain't easy to get into. Now, Virtus Pro are down to three, but they... Wow, okay. Where are these shots coming from, Zanan? This guy is being a real problem from on top of that hospital. Finding a little bit of room to play with. We'll see if the circle favors them at all. Uh, unfortunately not. Now 4 a.m. is going to have to make their way across the street as well with Tiamba up there and K7. And uh, Zanan, probably the scariest damn player in the lobby right now. That kid is hitting every single shot he takes. And they are going to have to make that move under his watchful eyes. Exactly that. Now, this is going to cause a lot of teams to make very risky plays. Full sends, try and just get into anywhere. Evia this time diving on T1. Here comes the push back from down one, though. They're going to try and breach over. Aquafy prones down. He is one, sees one, takes one. Spins around, though. He needs a second. What? He gets it. It's the third. Just that step too far, oh, but it's no. enough for a trade to come out. T1, it's just Star-Lord, but they will live for now. Virtus Pro forced to fight against Oath. Oath decided to push towards VP. They could have gone for the hospital fight, but no. They opted to try and clear through Virtus Pro, which is a dangerous game to be playing. But Snake is finding heroes and has removed some of the vision on that very low end side of the hill. So now with three alive for Oath, they can get themselves back on their feet. You know the K7 are watching this mayhem unravel. Pack gaps over the great shot towards Spyro, and there goes Virtus Pro. Let's see if Star Lord trying to play it high, play it low. Let's see. He's gonna find one. Can he find two? Oh, oh, June. It's me. Now, what are Oath doing in this time? I'm seeing them in vehicles. They're trying to swing around the south. It looks like they're going towards LG Divine at this point. That's a what? yeah, maybe the best fight, maybe the better option than trying to go towards hospital. They pulled up on this. They just sent the car in. It's part of their team at this point, and they've wiped them out. Great moves from Oath here. I love this. Now look at this. K7 in response. Pushing out it. Savior's on the way. Zinan's on the way. They see there's a chance to get rid of this southern side. Oath will have no idea that this is coming until right now. The floor's on fire and they're eliminated. <laughs> Just, you know, these are all my grenades. It's, you know, those... 
kids at show and tell. Here's, here's all my things in my bag. I've got a sandwich, I've got this, I've got that. <laughs> Nothing to be done. It's down to two big teams, though. This is what I'm happy to be seeing. 4 a.m. We asked when these guys would come online. Maybe this is the game. It took one day of adaptation to get them to these final moments. K7, though, with a huge performance. And now we see how they break this one down. The north is 4 a.m.s. The south, K7s. And very much almost a mirrored lineup here in the way they're approaching this. But the benefit for K7 is they still have this hospital building. If they don't get their head taken off, that's really valuable. They've got some decent cover to work around here as well. You see Shalu and Godby trying to see if they can take care of Booyah, who that is a if they can if they can get rid of him, be a pretty good get. They also looks like they're concerned about the the other compound as well. They maybe have might might have lost track of. How many players are left for K7? Uh, but they've got a really nice spread here. They're taking up a lot of real estate. We'll see if they can, how long it takes them to pin everybody down. Okay, now the circle update will again favor K7. But the fight still favors 4AM, of course, with the additional player standing. You've got to hope that maybe one of these gets a free knock something. It looks like 4AM is starting to build themselves up. They've decided they're going to go for the southeast side. There's two players for K7 here. They have good cover. Zanan's in the low ground. This could be scary stuff for 4AM. They have no idea. They only know where Savior is. And look at this! Zanan's found one. That's Lunel gone. A quick nade will follow. Flash out. Trying to hinder this repeat coming in, but forever from up above. Zanan's found Godfrey. Oh, Savior! Living up to his name from the high ground. Keeping Zidane safe as long as he could. And now just one alive for 4 a.m. It's crazy. Left with everything in front of him. Savior is hearing this out. He's got to know where the steps are up and over. Ooh. Savior's seen him. He sprays in. Crazy on the other side. A flash quickly put down. Crazy turns it. But there it is. Dead from above. Savior. K7. What a map from them. Huge kills. Big damage. And the hospital just